Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. A horrifying shooting is under investigation on Detroit's west side where a mother was shot and her baby grazed. Police say a man wearing a mask opened fire after the woman answered her door at a home on Freeland last night. Another woman in the home was not hurt. Detroit will begin the final farewell to murdered police officer Rasheen McLean. Visitation is from 3 to 8 p.m. today and tomorrow at Fisher Funeral Home in Redford Township. McLean was killed in the line of duty two weeks ago. Vice President Mike Pence due to arrive for a Michigan visit today at 1230. He'll head out for a bus tour on the west side of the state with planned stops in Portage, Holland and Grand Rapids. A Keep America Great campaign rally is set for later in the evening. 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel has a one-on-one -on -one interview lined up with the Vice President. We'll have complete coverage today on Action News. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your seven first alert forecast. Wednesday could bring us a few more snow showers again from about mid-morning through the afternoon. It's all fairly light and it will not stick to the roads with temperatures in the mid 30s. So 37 the high on Wednesday. A little warmer Thursday. We draw back a bit into the 30s Friday and Saturday, but you can see the weekend starts with sunshine, even some on Sunday morning, but there could be a rain shower by the end of the day. All right, Dave, thanks. The Muscular Dystrophy Association is getting a boost from Metro Detroit's uh, Metro Airport's Fire Department. Firefighters presented a check for $6,100 to the MDA and its ambassador, 14-year-old Matthew Greiner, was also treated to a tour of the fire station and dinner with firefighters. Those are your headlines. Go to WXYZ.com and our app for news anytime. Have a great day.